When I first started working with veneers, I was actually doing wooden boats. And I had some inlay that I wanted to do, and I chose Avo de Ray, which is very, very lustrous. And after I'd done some of the work on one of the boats, I had some of this Avo de Ray veneer left over. So I cut some squares, and I put together an assembly, and it looked fairly nice, but I had tape all over it. I flipped it upside down, and I put it by the window and looked at it. One area was really much brighter than another. I stepped a couple of steps over to the side and the light just totally changed. And it was really a eureka moment. I'm Thomas R. Schrunk. I'm an artist in lustrous materials. Most materials, when, when the light strikes them, uh, the light is bounced off in more or less a uniform 180 degree hemisphere. Lustrous materials have something in the surface or in the, the actual material itself that causes the light to be bounced off, not in a uniform way, but directionally, more in one direction than another. Wood uh, has a cellular uh, structure that actually acts as lenses and gives a special light. The veneers are thin pieces of wood that are sliced from a log. Uh, they have a grain. The direction of the grain will have a, a strong effect on the amount of light that it gives off. In one direction, it will be very bright. You rotate it 90 degrees and it will be dark. You can see the differential in the light uh, and how it responds to the light. And that the light is the subject matter of, of what I do. I had an engraving company and I engraved brass nameplates and aluminum nameplates. And at one point, I had the stack of, let's say, 30 brass plates, and accidentally I knocked them over. And they spread out like a fan. And the lighting on those was so completely different. And it was gradated from one to the next. Voila, there it was, a new medium. The aluminum as a medium is much brighter than uh, wood cells. Wood cells are not straight, they, are, they curve around, they're tapered at each end. With brushed metals, because those lines are mechanically induced, they're very straight, they're very precise, and they're very bright when they're at the right angle. You can get an idea of the difference in uh, luminosity. Uh, by changing the uh, angle so that the brushing, here it's the same, and you can see it stays the same. This is the difference that you're able to get by taking advantage of that, that change. The brushing of the aluminum is at different angles so that as you turn it, the various uh, angles uh, light up and uh, decrease in brightness. be successful as an artist, uh, you must be curious. The thing that I love about doing uh, work with lustrous materials is it's always a surprise. One has a hard time thinking of luster and brightness when one thinks of concrete. I was sort of like Thomas Edison with the light bulb. I tried everything under the sun, and I finally came up with a method of putting ridges and grooves in the concrete surface. From one angle, you're seeing the lit side of those grooves, and you move to the other side, you see the shadow side.
When you're used to seeing something that reacts in a very normal way, you pay no attention to it. When you have something that is different, that, that uh, uh, gives off a different uh, aura, you look at things differently. And that's, I think, one of the purposes of, of art. Uh, it is to look at the world differently. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Minnesota.